Welcome to today's Simplicity Account Training. This is a specialty training on the Transaction File Importer. The Transaction File Importer allows you to add transactions, financial transactions, to your account in bulk. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So first what we'll want to do is start out with a spreadsheet. Okay. So these account headers here, or these column headers here, are what you're going to want to have in your spreadsheet. Um, in our user's manual, there is a, a lengthy section about the transaction file importer and how to use it, including these column headers. So you want to start out with a spreadsheet like this. What I've done is in our test account, I ran an export of our account numbers and debtor first and last names to make sure that that's what we wanted as far as um, account numbers go. What I did then is I just pasted those account numbers into my account number column. Okay, client claim number is optional. Transaction description and transaction type. These are very specific to Simplicity. So if we're going to go to an account, If we go to financials and we go to the advanced tab, this is going to show us all of our transaction descriptions and all of our transaction types. Okay, so let's say that we'll add court costs to our accounts. Or maybe we'll do a service fee. Okay, so we'll do a service fee, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this description from my Simplicity and paste it in the description column on my spreadsheet. And then I'll just copy this all the way down. You can have interspersed descriptions, so if I had um, another description that I wanted to add, so uh, for example, this file complaint, if I wanted to add a couple of those throughout my spreadsheet, or if for each account you have um, you have a payment and a cost, you would just need to make sure that it corresponds with the account number. Okay, so our transaction type, if we go back to Simplicity and we look at our advanced tab, our transaction type is cost. We want to make sure that we don't add the dollar sign in just because Simplicity will do that for us. And if there is a dollar sign, uh, it can cause errors in your spreadsheet. So because we do always format currency amounts in, in our spreadsheets before import, we will format ourselves. Go to a number with two decimal places. For a transaction date, we'll just say it's today's date. Okay, and then there is a note that's optional. Go ahead and just add one. All right, any questions on how to format your transaction file importer spreadsheet? Or where to find specific information? All right, if there's no questions, we'll go ahead and move forward. Okay. So we'll save our changes. We'll go to Simplicity, under Tools, and Transaction File Importer. We will browse 
to the file we just saved. And click prepare file for uploading. Now this is very similar to uh, the new import um, process. So we do use a file mapping. Create a new file map. And we're just going to uh, use the mapping the same way that we would do in an updater tool or in our importer tool. Because we didn't enter a client claim number, we're going to leave that out. Okay, we're going to name our mapping just like we would in any other importer and click Save New Mapping. Okay, we'll select our file map, click Import Transaction. Again, just like any of our importer tools, this is a live counter. We should only have 51 accounts to, uh, to update here, so it shouldn't take too long. Any questions about this process while this is importing? Okay. All right, so this is saying 50 of 51 transactions. We can take a look at that in a moment. Uh, what we'll do now, though, is we're going to go to our home screen. We'll search for our account. We go to our financials page. You can see that we've got our, our, our date of service here, our service fee, our note that we added, the amount, and then we've got our new balance. Any questions? Okay, if we go back to tools, and transaction file importer. You can troubleshoot your errors just like you can in any other importer if we download the results file. Okay, we'll filter this A to Z, and that should bring up any errors to the top. Okay, and it looks like uh, we just didn't have an account number for this particular line. So all of our other records are successful. You can roll back your transaction files, um, but we do recommend that your, um, your spreadsheet is uh, thoroughly edited before importing your transactions. Um, the less that you have to do with financials, the better as far as um, errors go. So you don't want to import and roll back and import and roll back as far as the, the transaction importer goes. Um, if you are having trouble importing a transaction importer spreadsheet, we're more than happy to help you take a look at that. Any questions about this tool? All right, if there are no questions, we'll go ahead and end this specialty training for today. Thanks so much for attending.